Hello everyone. This is Dylan Kurosaki here, and welcome back to Ape Escape. Now, not many people on YouTube are playing this game. The only people that I know of are Venos and Vinagima. <clears throat> the other ones I know of. The ones that are extremely popular aren't playing this game. My advice to, do, to those people, play this game. It deserves some love. This game is brilliant. And I love playing it as a series on the channel. And I'm going to hop uh, right into it. Let me just get my controller. I'm being awkward. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I had to pause to my last recording, my previous recording. You know when I did Molten Lava, because that was the last level we did. Well, <laughs> it's the last lava we did. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's hop right into it. And one point out to thick jungle. The jungle is so thick. <laughs> that we could see big. But we can clear the way of the monkeys and capture all of them. Look what I've got a new gadget. Check it out. Alright, that's useful. It's a monkey radar. It'll help you track those monkeys down. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Of course, we can't say no. Because it's the first game. Because they want us to get used to the game. Anyways, the monkey radar is actually more useful a lot later in the game for backtracking. So I won't be equipping it, but I will show you what it does. Let me just find the red boxes. The monkey radar allows us to find the monkeys hiding in these boxes and in the levels. And they're pretty easy to find, but not in the levels. Anyways, let's find them. Let's find some monkeys. No. Ah, one in here. No. Okay, let's try these ones. Oh, I see a monkey. A pizza man. And there's a monkey in there. Now the other boxes have bombs. Do not have a fail. We don't want that. No, sir. That, that won't be good. Uh... Spike, you are now on your way to the mysterious time of the jungle. Mystery! Room. You must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen before. Nice. I want to explore the temple ruins. But be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Okay. Oh yes. And you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying uh, fields of Yes. Beasts. So in most cases you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly if you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre on you. Thank you, Axey. I appreciate that, my man. <laughs> and now, a lovely cutscene. Hello, Professor. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it 
should have been from the beginning. No. Spectre, what ha who, what's going on here? What are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. She's actually kind of cute when she's angry. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours, this peak point helmet, and it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now I plan to rule the world, and I owe it to you, Professor. No, you won't! You must listen to me carefully. It's true that the peak point helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. Yeah, because it's dangerous. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. Yeah, may be dangerous. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the peak point helmet back to me. Oh, you better, Spectre. Bring it back. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. What do you mean it's too late? I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. What? There's no stopping us now. The future is mine. <laughs> Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. Ah! I ah! how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> huh. Spike will find you. Just wait. You'll oh yeah. We're not gonna stand around and let you take and capture you. Spike, that little runt, he doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Jake. Jake. Uh oh <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. Oh boy! What's happening? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it! Pull yourself together! Can you I have to agree with that to me? Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by spec. I knew it! That's right, Professor. You're very precise. I knew it. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. Great. I'm in control. And no one, no one That's can great. Stop me, especially not you. Well, I've got to go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Well, you'll be captured, Spectre. By your boy. And we're gonna capture all your monk ape minions. And there's six of them in this one. Okay. Let's go and get them. And thwart his plot. And get Jake back. Man, that an ape camp the world has never done. Alright. Like I said, we won't be needing the monkey radar. Because that's used to backtrack in later. It's quite useful for that. Anyways, the first monkey is in here. That bee really got me! No! It's not the bee's knees. For me. Alright. Let's get this monkey. Wait a minute. Who says that anymore? I need to be very careful when dealing with plants. If they can eat you like this one. This is a Venus flytrap. Be careful or they'll eat you. But I can annihilate. The man will die. The reason I'm collecting those is because they get us lives. Alright, now we're gonna crawl to the next little ape. This one is very high tech. This one can see us from a distance. <laughs> Not good for me. And there was a plant that can eat me. No, you don't! No, you don't! Ooh, at least the bucket did not see me. Let them monkey. Let them 
Nein, jetzt ein Ape. Ich hier sag mir! No! Der wird doch weg! Wir gehen ab zu einer letzten Sneak Attack. And we got you! On your little tower! Alright, now let's head into the next area. Oh! This level introduces a new mechanic, the boat. We have to rotate the six around and around. But also, you can also just press up with both sticks and you move, and you'll start moving. What everyone does, they just press up on the analogs. I actually like to rotate the sticks. Cause I'm, I'm actually pretty good at that. As you may have seen, I am rotating the sticks. This actually gives us more speed. Truth be told, if you rotate the sticks, I am pretty skin with the boat, if you ask me. I need to be close to my mic. So I'll be nice and close to the mic. I'll be working that. Yeah, let's collect these. Because they give us us lives. And that's a good thing. Alright, now the another mechanic with the water net is that you can swim fast by holding on the R1 button. It also allow allows us to when the gate is closing to swim past it in time so that the gate does not close. As you see, the gate is now open. Keep opening! And all the way, I can feel it. My bones are dancing in social harmony with your whirling gadgets and gears. We move as one. Hold on the armor button to swim fast so that it doesn't close on us. And catch the ape. All right, we need to swim among apes. We need to swim among apes. I am trying to be afraid of some of the monkeys, so still not. They're actually apes. It's called Ape Escape. If they were monkeys, it would be called Monkey Escape. Which it isn't. No, actually, we're going to go up here next. To get the next little ape. Huh. And we cut you. Alright, now there's an evil three like in uh, Kirby that we need to battle. Yeah, just like in Kirby, there's an evil three. At least I think the three from Kirby is evil, I'm not sure. Let me know down below in the comment section if that three from Kirby is evil or not. But yeah, this is just like Kirby. Alright, so that is thick jungle. And actually, this is a good place to stop. You did great. Arigato, Natsumi san. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you want to see more content from Dylan Kurosaki, be sure you subscribe. Like, I don't normally say that, but if you want to see more content, I highly recommend you press the subscribe button. If you want to see more daily content. And you know what? Also, and if you liked the video, Astro will last that like button. And keep relaxing, relaxing, and don't stop believing. Now, see you guys in the next video. And I love all of you.